in an empty field be between Abram and Platt Bridge is monuments to the victim of a strange mining disaster. On Monday, April the 30th, 1945, a railway engine called Dorothy, shunting 13 loaded wagons and the driver, Ludovic Berry, disappeared when a large hole suddenly opened up beneath the train. He had just passed his daughter, Martha, taking her 11-month-old son for a walk. As the train entered number 8 siding, brakeman John Ward walked alongside when he noticed a large hole open up under the train. Horrified, he signalled Ludovic to stop the train. However, as the train stopped, the weight of the loaded wagons caused the unsupported lines to buckle, and the wagons started to fall down the hole. John and another brakeman, Joe Hindley, tried to get Ludovic to jump clear, but Ludovic stayed at the controls trying to save his train. The whole train fell down the, into the hole, taking Ludovic with it. A rescue mission was attempted, but pit bosses and the police said there was no hope of Ludovic being found alive. The twisted wreckage and the body of the driver were covered over. An inquest was held into the disaster and this concluded that the hole was formerly the shaft of number 7 Brookside Colliery, which had opened in 1885 and closed in 1919. In 1932, 8,000 tonnes of debris had been poured down into, into the hole to plug it. Mining agent Oswald Onions had examined the shaft the previous day and had found nothing appearing to be wrong. However, Onions said that a combination of the number of old workings in the area and heavy rain had caused the disaster. Onions, Ward and Hindley believed that Ludovic had loved the old engine and had stayed in the cab until it was too late to save himself. I hope you've enjoyed the short video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in a future video.